Hi, I'm Anupa from How to Make Tech. Today is my first video, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make an IR signal jammer. So let's see that project. This is how it works. If you input the signal from a remote, the IR receiver automatically stores that signal in Arduino. And when we let go of the button, the Arduino automatically sends out the, that same signal. The Arduino signal is much too powerful, so other signals can't interfere. We will need these simple items to make this project. Arduino Uno A infrared receiver Three red, green and yellow LEDs Infrared transmitters And a project board And some hookup wires Okay, let's start the project. I just taped my Arduino to the project board because it's easy to use. Okay, let's get started. First, take your infrared LEDs and place them on the board. Okay, now take some wires and connect all the ground pins together, otherwise known as the negative. Now connect all the ground pins to the Arduino. And the power pin of the LEDs is connected to the pin 3 of the Arduino. You can connect all the pins together first and connect that one wire to the Arduino. Now all the uh, negative pins of the IR LEDs are now connected to the ground and the power pin of the IR LEDs are connected to the pin tree. Now place the green LED on the board and connect the negative pin of the LED to the negative row. Now repeat the same process to the red and the yellow LED. Remember, only connect the ground pin. Now place the infrared receiver onto the board. Now connect the middle pin to the ground. Now connect the left pin from the flat side to the 3.3 volts from the Arduino. Remember, do not connect it to the 5 volts or the infrared transmitter will overheat and burn out. Now place the button switch on the board and connect the one pin from that to the ground. Now connect one of the pins of the Arduino to the ground row. Now connect the positive pin of the green LED to pin number 2 on the Arduino. Now connect the power pin of the yellow LED to pin 4. Now connect the power pin of the red LED to the pin 13 of the Arduino. Sorry for the camera angle. Now connect the leftover pin from the IR receiver to pin 11 on the Arduino. Now connect the leftover pin from the button switch to pin 12 of the Arduino. And that is the last one. 
now you can upload your program to the Arduino. I will give you a download link to the program in the description. Connect your power to the Arduino and reset it. Now hold down the push button and press a button on your remote. The signal is received and it's stored in the Arduino. Now if we let go of the button, the signal will automatically transmit. You can see the screen is on. The signal is stored in the Arduino. And now the signal is repeating itself. You can see the TV is off now. Here is the same process from another angle. First, I will program my Arduino. Now the TV is on and the Arduino is programmed. Now you can see when I let go of the button, the program Arduino is repeating itself. Now the TV is off. If, it, if I press the power button, it won't turn now because the Arduino is repeating itself. So the TV cannot turn on even manually. You can see now. As long as the green LED is flashing, the Arduino is transmitting the same signal again and again. Now I reset the Arduino. Now the TV is automatically on. And that is the end of my first project. I hope you like it. If you have some questions and if I made some mistakes, please leave them in the comments below. And I will put all of my effort making next video. Before I go, I'm going to give a little heads up. Next time, I'm going to make a solar tracker. Stay tuned for more projects. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Put a like, subscribe, and I will see you again in a week.